Hi, I'm Alison and I'm the manager of Alexandra House Nursery in Crown Hill. We're a standalone nursery and the charity itself actually started in 1839. Today we can take up to 60 children a day and I have a workforce of around 22 staff. It is a full-on role running the nursery. One day is never the same as another. So I was looking to make new connections with other business owners and I didn't really know where to start. And that's where the Sea Care project came in. Today, I'm at a networking event bringing together businesses across the city. Programmes like this one, delivered by Real Ideas for Sea Care, are really invaluable. I met Andy as a result of signing up initially to the Plymouth Charter. Hi, my name is Andy from Real Ideas Organisation. I'm the Start Something Lead here, and I help businesses get themselves started. We've worked with uh, a number of businesses over the city, some in a very light touch way, some in a more detailed way. It'd be really interesting to hear, before we get too involved with, what sort of success stories people want to share about. Just that little phone call, we're getting more application forms back as a result of that. The way we start with a lot of clients is to do what we call a diagnostic exercise. With Alison, a lot of that dealt with connecting her to the wider ecosystem of businesses in Plymouth who are looking at approaching their recruitment processes in a different way. It's been great working with Andy. These progressing the people working lunches that I've been coming to have been particularly useful in that I've met other business professionals that I'm hoping to work with in the future. And there was a gentleman today um, at the meeting who is from Job Centre Plus and I'm looking to network with him in the future with regarding difficulties that we've been having with recruitment. We ran a number of online events which were targeted particular areas of skills development that businesses can start to employ. So for example, we did a series of them focusing on skills for young managers or people who are new to the management roles. We believe that an inclusive workforce is a good thing for Plymouth overall. It leads to a greater breadth of people in your business and that ultimately will lead to a fairer and greener Plymouth. Making the time to come to things like these working lunches has allowed me some time to go back and look at my practices, things that we've done for a long, long time, that perhaps we do need to consider changing now for the better. Ultimately, this experience means that I will be able to take away practices that will improve the services that we offer as a charity and improve the care that we give to our children and employees.